Disclaimer. This content is for educational purposes only. Hacking is illegal, don't do it without permission. Hey guys, I'm Cybertronics, and today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to get information on phone numbers using a tool called Phone and Foga. So you're gonna need three things for this video. One of them is optional. The first thing you're gonna need is obviously Kali Linux. The second thing you're gonna need is to install Phone and Foga. And the third thing you're gonna need, which is optional, but in this video we're doing it, is an apilayer.com account. So let's go ahead and get started. So once you're on your Kali machine, you're going to want to go ahead and go to GitHub and go to the Phone and Fogo repository by Sundown Dev. And once you're on this repository, we're going to go ahead and go down and we want to open up the documentation web page. And the documentation web page, guys, is basically going to tell you everything you need to know about Phone and Fogo, from how to install it to how to use it on the command line or the GUI or the graphic user interface and the scanners it's using and how to use them, okay? So for this video, we're going to be using one scanner in particular, and that's the NumVerify scanner. And what this is, guys, is basically going to give us a bit more information on the phone number that we wouldn't have otherwise if we were just using phone and FOGA. So, for example, we're going to get the carrier that the device is using. So if it was AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, Verizon, etc., um, we're going to get if it's a landline or a mobile device and we're going to get the city it's in. So, again, further information that we wouldn't necessarily get. Um, if we were just using phone and FOGA, okay? So once you're on the documentation page, you're gonna to go to getting started and installation, and it's gonna tell you how to install phone and FOGA, guys. So you can you, you can do it using the binary or you can do it using Docker. Um, I just use the binary. You can do whichever one you want. It really doesn't matter, it's up to you. Um, you're gonna go ahead and read through this, and if you follow it to the T, guys, you shouldn't have any issues. It should install with no problems. And it's only about like three commands for the binary installation, so it's really not hard at all. Just read through this, and once you've done that, you can go ahead and read through usage to see how to use it get more familiar with it the scanners get more familiar with them and yeah guys so once you've got that installed and you've read up on this then you're going to go ahead and create your non verify api key so to do that you're going to go to apilayer.com and you're going to create an account and there's a free there's a free subscription and it suffices more than enough for what we're doing so you're going to go ahead and create that and once you've created your account you're going to go ahead and go to number verification api and that's going to generate your num verify api key so that we could input it on our command line and use it to scan our number okay so once you've got phone and foga installed and once you've got your api layer.com account created and you've generated your api key you can actually get started and you're going to open up a terminal now we have to specify the num verify api key first before anything guys so that would be the first thing you type in so we're going to type that in we're going to specify it has to be in caps by the way num verify underscore api underscore key equals you're going to put in your api key that you generated on your api layer.com account and you're going to say phone and foga scan dash n for the number and you're going to put in the number that you want to scan so keep in note guys there's a plus one in front of this number that's because this is a u.s number and plus one is the the country code for the u.s so if your number was for for example in uh, pakistan then you put the country code for pakistan in front of the number and you'd scan it that way so that it could give you accurate information on the phone number that you actually want to get and it doesn't get uh information on a phone number say in russia when you want it from pakistan okay so you're going to specify the country code that's very important now you're going to hit enter and once you hit enter it's going to give you all this information right here these are google dorks i'll go more into detail about that now and as you can see here results for local this these will be the results you get guys if you weren't using num verify so you know these are the num verify results but as you can see here these are the these are the ones that we get if we weren't using num verify so it's not much information that's why we're using num verify but for num verify we have a bit more detailed information on the phone number such as valid true meaning it's an actual phone number and not a spam number a robot number something like that the the local format the international format country yada yada united states and the location now normally this would be an actual city but since this is new york and new york is weird like that it's a bunch of gibberish but i know that this is new york uh zone one manhattan or something like that now if you didn't know what this was a simple google search would you know would help you out a lot you just google what that is and it would tell you on google this is new york zone one okay so again location this number is based out of new york 
and line type it's a landline so it's not a mobile device as you can see here for carrier it's blank so it's blank because it's a landline now if this phone number was a mobile device then it would tell us the carrier so if let's say this was a mobile device on sprint then it would tell us sprint is the carrier okay so we've got that information now let's get on to the google dorks and google dorks guys what google dorks are is basically super googling right it's it's like it's like using google as a superpower almost uh it's like google on steroids so i'm gonna make another video going into detail about google google dorks and how to use them but basically what you need to know is that it, it uses google dorks to look for anything specified with this number so for example as you can see here this one looks for any facebook uh profiles or posts linked with this number same thing for twitter same thing for linkedin same thing for instagram you get the idea now i don't care about the social medias the ones that i like to use is the general one because i just want to figure out who is this number who is calling me so for example somebody may be calling you you want to see hey who are these people you're going to go to the general one and the first one that pops up is usually the best uh google dork link to use in my experience in my opinion now i'm sure the others work just fine but as you can see here guys we've entered that link in and it gives us information about the number and as you can see here this is a gamestop in new york so you can see right here this is the address so it gives us all that information and now we know who this number belongs to and you know if it's a business a person etc and so you can get information on the phone number this way so yeah guys that's pretty much it very straightforward very simple video I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed the video. Without further ado, let's get up out of here.